Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday morning live stream. It's 11 a.m. here in Toronto time, and today I've got a micro binder. Um, this is the best I could do for a mini journal. And if you've seen mini journaling going around, um, everyone's giving this a try. And the spreads look so cute. It's basically using a combination of washi tapes and stickers to decorate these tiny little pages. And we have Kristen from KK's Journal joining us today. So I'm going to send her an invite. Oh, hi, Kristen. Hi. Thanks for joining. Of course. Hello, everyone. So I was just chatting a little bit about my micro binder. Um, would you mind showing what your mini journals look like? Yes. So um, I actually have five, well, I guess you could say I have three mini journals and like two tiny journals. It's yeah. like, how, can you really go any smaller than a mini journal? Well, yeah, you could say tiny journal. Yeah, a tiny journal. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with my smallest. This is the smallest one I have. <laughs> Yeah, it is like, it's just so tiny. It's so teeny. Yeah, it's so, I mean, there's, you can get a lot. Like, I feel like this was washi tape, a girl, like pearls, a flower. I mean, you know, you can, mm -hmm. as long as you have tiny things, like this one we used, I said earlier, we used your travel washi, which I got a lot of compliments on. Mm -hmm. And it works so good with the white background. Um I like all of those people stickers. I know. Aren't they cute? Yeah. And they're and like the perfect size. Yes. Did you have to cut any parts of them or no? Like mm -hmm. um, they come like that. For example, the travel one? No, she came like this. Cool. Yeah, this is how. I think I had to cut her. Like I had to cut a little bit of her legs mm -hmm. off. Um, and... I think I maybe had to cut a little bit of hers as well. That dress is so pretty. I know. This I one's like my it. favorite. I really liked the black and like the bow and like how this one yes. came out. So this one's my smallest journal. And then I have one that's a little bit bigger that I haven't used yet. Mm -hmm. And this one actually has two, two inserts in it. Oh my gosh. It's like yeah. a traveler's notebook, except tiny. Except tiny, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's like the traveler's notebook, but tiny. Yeah, so this one's the next one. And then... Are we sizing up as we go gradually? We are sizing up as we go. <laughs> and then the next one is this one, which I got from Cora, Cora Craig Crafts from Coralie Shop. And this mm -hmm. is the only mini journal I've seen that has deckled pages. You know, the pages that look like oh, wow. old yeah. and like burnt and like rusty. And so when she put this on her shop, I'm like, oh my God, I love this. I have to get it. Wow. Like, it's, it's, I've seen journals that have the deckled pages, but I've not seen a mini one. And as far as I know, I think she's selling these in her, in her shop right now. So that's something you're interested in. I'm going to start a list of things to share after the live stream because we always share some stories. Um, okay. So what was the name of that shop again? It's a uh, Cora, C-O-R-A, Cray, or Cree, which is C-R-E-A, and then Crafts. And it's all one word, like Cora, Cree, Crafts. And I apologize, Core Life, I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> but I think that's how you say it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I got this little journal. And like I said, it's the only one that I've seen that has like these type of like decal, I think they're called decal pages. Mm -hmm. And then next or last are the mini binders. Yes. And this is my very first one that I got that got way too... Thick. I mean, I was doing double page, like front and back, and then it was getting way too thick. So then I had to switch to 
Oh, I see. One side. <laughs> did you end up taking any out of this one to move to the other? Because I oh, guess if I sorry. did. Yeah. I I actually let me show you how much I had to take out. While Kristen's grabbing that, I just wanted to mention as well. Um, when we start showing the washi tape, we have a discount code. So if you're new to the live streams, this is a discount code for the live streams. It's live fifteen. So any of these washi tapes, they're from the washi tape shop. So if you want to grab anything, it's 15% off at checkout. And we actually also have a promotion going on for the Dream Catcher set. If you order anything over $60, this is a little strip of it. Um, okay. Sorry? So all these... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Are those exactly. all the ones you took out? These are all the ones I took out from that blue journal that still wow. had, that I still had left because she got so, so thick. And what makes her thick is the 3D, the mm -hmm. pearls, um, you know, because they kind of stick out, the 3D kind of stick out a little bit. Yep. Those right there. And so it just kind of makes it, it got to where, like, even if I tried to open it, like, these were popping out. And so I was like, okay, oh. she's, yeah, I think she's like, she's like done. So then I ordered me another one. And she came with her own set of pages as well. Mm -hmm. But um, like I said, I ordered these mini inserts from Monica's shop, Journaling All Day Cells. Mm -hmm. And... She has different types, different colors, and, you know, different themes, warm colors, light colors, and it's just a bunch of different textured papers. And this is my first time mini journaling with actual textured paper. Normally, I just use the little, mm -hmm. the little papers, like, oh, back here, the little um, grid papers it comes with. So that's the cool thing about these um three ring mini binders is yeah. you can create your own pages you can use the pages that it comes with you can mix it up you can do both you know it's really however you want to do it mm -hmm. oh wow and you also did some 3d over there i saw one in the um in the first couple pages of that journal you use some foam stickers too oh i did so this one she's 3d in the little window mm-hmm and then I think I used, yeah, I used it on her too. So she like kind of mm -hmm. stuck out. This one's my favorite. I don't know. I just, I winged yes. this one as well. And I ended up just loving this color scheme. Like the mm -hmm. gray with the tan. I just think, oh, I just think it came out really nice. Um, I don't think there's any in there. Yeah, if you guys hers. haven't seen, um, it, so Kristen's Instagram page is KK's Journal. Um, KK's yes. dot journal definitely check that out um, you make a lot of videos of your process I've noticed I was trying to find some photos of um, of like the finished spreads and I scrolled back a little bit but I I love actually seeing the process of creating these because I think that's one of the uh, like the exciting parts about the mini journals that it's just like every single thing that you put in is so cute you kind of want to you know give it its own limelight as it exactly added to the spread that is so true you know I get asked um how can you fit so much on such a tiny page and to be mm -hmm. honest it took practice like it was it's a lot harder than you think <laughs> um you know because yeah. you're working with such a small canvas I guess you could say and so, um, yeah, it was a lot harder than I thought. But then once you get used to it and you do it a couple of times, then you start to realize, oh, okay, you know, if I put this doily here, I don't have to use the whole thing. You know, I can kind of cut it, put it in the corners, you know, or if you have a big, like, I don't know, let's just say something big that's just an example like something big like this and you really mm -hmm. want to use it right but you're like well it covers the whole page well you know try using it like this or yeah. using it like this or just use the you know the ends and you you know there's just you just figure that out as you go like 
you can still use your favorite stickers, your favorite memo cards, your favorite die cuts, no matter how big they are. Just know you're probably going to have to cut some of it off. And I know some people are like, it's so pretty. I don't want to cut it. Um, and if that's the case, that's okay, too. You know, just use it in your regular journal and mm -hmm. not so much, you know, your mini journal. Like, I really love these die cuts, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I've, you can use it like that, you know, like the whole page. Or you can, like I said, use the corners, cut the corners, which is kind of what I did with, um, oops, on this one. If you notice in the background. Lots of corners there. Yep, lots of corners that I cut and just to kind of make different shapes and just to kind of give it like a different, I don't know, I guess look, you can say. <laughs> um, so yeah. But yeah, it is a it is a little bit of a challenge at first to try to journal on something so small. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I think I've seen you using like tweezers or things like that too. Oh yeah, so I get asked about those as well. And I actually got these off Amazon and I all you have to do is Google or I'm sorry, search um crafting tweezers. Mm -hmm. And they look a little bit different. Well, I've seen some tweezers that look like normal tweezers where they're straight. Um, but these have kind of a curve mm -hmm. to it. So it's easier, especially on minis. Like, let's say you put tape or or even those 3D phone stickers. It's just easier to place. Yeah. You know, like to put it and then mess with it afterwards or if you have like something like super tiny like let's just say something like this mm -hmm. you know you can kind of play around with it figure out where you want it yeah and you can visualize the whole spread too at this right level. exactly because your fingers are and your hands not like in the way mm -hmm. so you can just use like the little stickers and so for this spread, you mentioned um, going with the color scheme of this washi tape. Yes. So what's kind of your process? We've done, we started with the washi tape and you mentioned that um, sometimes you use the washi tape just like for one row, sometimes for the edge and sometimes to cover up the entire background. And yes. then from there, like that can be an inspiration for the color scheme. But what, can, what do you reach for next? So next... <clears throat> excuse me guys I'm so sorry I have the sniffles and the coughs I'm still recovering a little bit from COVID um so next I will decide okay so I've used my washi tape I kind of want to go with the maybe gold yellow maybe add some black if I want but really like gold and yellow and lately I've been loving die cuts mm -hmm. like this doily I showed you. I was going to say that um, looks perfect for this. Yep. Spread. I don't know if you use it or not, but. The yeah, so I have this. And then another thing I've been liking, like this is a another die cut. It's like a, I don't know, I guess a Ooh. film strip one. And mm -hmm. I was thinking of maybe putting like, you know, words behind it and then cutting it and then maybe placing that at the in the middle or but I really like the doily though so maybe I'll like... if you're gonna do the doily I'll do the other one with the words um okay but I'm gonna improvise a little bit with some of these frames and huh. uh, word washi tape perfect we have... these are the two that I like a lot they are they're both like script on washi tape and I don't have like a a page in a note or page in a book handy so I'm just going to use this as the background I think perfect that's awesome I like that you know that's the you know that's just the cool thing about um journaling right and and uh this type of journaling is you can just use whatever you have like just be creative you know improvise mm -hmm. If you don't have something, that's okay. Like, see what you do have and then just kind of go from there. <clears throat> I've done that plenty of times. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need a... Blender. It's all good. I'm so sorry. We're just relaxing, enjoying it. 
um, I kind of went, I mean, I folded it in half and I cut it based on this guy, but I, I figured it wouldn't be the same on the other side. So, um, and then I'm going to put this with Ooh, some, like that. what do you guys think? I feel like this one goes better just with the, uh, the frame, the frame. Yeah. And so you mentioned that you don't really do much planning um, before your spreads. You just sit down and, and see where it goes. Um, I know we talked about this a little bit already on the TikTok live stream, but was the, can you share like what your reason was for just kind of going with the flow? And if you have any tips for people who are just starting, like, is that a good approach to start with? Um, um, yeah. yeah, I feel like the... The number one thing that holds people back from doing this or posting or just journaling in general is they feel like it's not perfect. Um, and one thing I can tell you is my spreads are never perfect. I mean, I get comments all the time that says, oh, you know, it's perfect. You I'm like, if you look really close, like the washi tape is crooked. I tried to take the sticker <laughs> off and it started taking off the paper. You know, it's trust me, things happen. We don't show it on camera, right? Um, but you know, things, they, they do happen. So I just say, sit down with what you have and just start, um, just start journaling, you know, just start putting things where they feel right. You know, everyone has their own artistic ability in them. No one is the same. And just, mm -hmm. and at the same time, you know, figure out what you like. Like, what, what do you like? What feels right? Um, I know when I first started, I bought a ton of supplies off AliExpress and Sheen mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure if I was like a vintage girl or if I was a, you know, more floral girl. So I just kind of bought everything. And then as I started journaling and putting things down and looking at other creators, I kind of figured out okay, this is kind of where the direction I want to go. And just recently, I, I really love to shop small, like um, you guys, and then people that have Etsy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a lot of creators are starting to open their own shops, which I think is amazing. So yeah. I do my best to support them as well. Um, and there's so many, like there are so many great creators out there that have their own little shops that it's just it's really neat like what they come up with and the stuff they sell and, and it's I think you all should just check it out because it's really cool but um so yes I have found that if I try to plan it out before I I will sit there for hours and then come up with nothing or end up not journaling that day or the next. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with the flow. If I pick a washi, then I know, okay, that's the color scheme I'm going to go with. Yeah. And, and then just go, and then it just kind of goes from there, you know, like it just kind of grows from there. I agree. I, I absolutely love that creators are, are like sharing their own artwork in the form of um, a shop of some kind. Like this is, um, this is uh, Sophie's sticker set, like a sticker sheet from Sophie from Opal and Fern. Oh, and okay. she draws these and, you know, there are so many creators that do the same sort of thing in their own style. Um, and I personally love to use these in my spreads. Like I used it in the little bookmark that we did a few weeks ago in our live stream. Mm -hmm. and that's the, like, that's one thing I absolutely love about what we're doing with the washi tape shop right now, because we we sort of do the same thing, but taking these designs and putting them on washi tape as well so that people can use them in washi tape format. So Sophie from Opal and Fern actually designed the In Bloom set, which is, these are just two from the set. <gasps> and you can really tell it's, you know, she's got a very unique style. She does, yeah. Translating that into various products is such a cool way to share your art, I think. Oh, so it, just, it gets me so excited seeing all of the artists work on here. And then you go on Instagram and you see the way that, you know, 
they they can incorporate their own washi tape into stuff but also just the way that they draw the same thing but in a totally different type of project isn't that isn't that crazy how they can do that um yeah. you know either whether they're making stickers or washi tape that is so beautiful by the way I love that yes <laughs> like I just love that and you're right she does have a certain type of style and um I'm gonna have to check that out I really like those yeah um, it's in bloom we can share that as well I'm I'm keeping a list of everything you've mentioned in terms of shops so Perfect. And actually, while we're mentioning shops, this beautiful doily is from a journal with Anna, journal dot with dot Anna. Um, she just launched her website actually a few days ago, and she has some um, beautiful die cuts and little doilies you can use for your mini journal um, stickers. She has butterflies. Um, she has crochet doilies. I mean, she just has a ton of stuff. And like I said, she, she just launched her, her own website a few days ago. So definitely Ooh. check that out. Yes. But yeah, that's where this um, beautiful doily is from. And I personally don't have a die cut machine. I haven't invested in one. Um, I go to my fellow friends slash creators their shops and that's where I get all my die cuts I get them from um, Monica shop journaling all day sells I've gotten some from cheery letters I've gotten some from journal with Anna um where else have I gotten some BK I believe it's BK stories Berna's um, Etsy shop I just I just ordered from her and got a lot of die cuts from her as well and Monica just did a huge um, shop update yesterday or the day before I believe and she has oh. a ton of die cuts so if die cut is your thing and you really like them and you're looking for some great you know affordable die cuts definitely check those places out awesome I will, um, I will share those to the stories after too. Perfect. All right. I decided I'm going to go with, um, with this house here from actually, this is so funny. I didn't even think of it this way, but <laughs> it's tiny ho homes. Tiny and we're, homes. I love we're it. No, sorry. We're doing mini journaling. It's not tiny yet. Um, <laughs> so it's just so perfect. It is. It really is. Oh, I love that. I'm filling up the background as well with the washi tapes from Federica, uh, Fiori Profumati. I don't know if it works that they're so different, but I wanted to have something more in the background. I think yeah. your, your paper is textured, right? That's the one that you are using? Yeah, so... Um... I don't know if you could tell on camera, but this was like a like a textured paper that I got from Monica's shop as well. She sells little mini journal inserts. And um, so, yeah, it's textured paper. Normally, if I was using like the normal grid paper, like this paper that comes with the mini journal, I do <laughs> a lot of the times cover the background. And I have used, you guys, washi tape um, to do that. And it just, it works so well. Like, I love it. It works so well. Let's see, which one did I use? And I forgot to mention, if, um, if anyone has any questions for Kristen, just so that we don't miss them, um, pop them in the question box. Uh, and so actually one of them, Kristen, is, is Kristen on TikTok too. Can you share the, all of the handles that you have, Kristen? Yes, so I have, um, so TikTok, so they're all KK's Journal. Uh, TikTok is KK's Journal, but no dot. So it's just KKS Journal. And here on Instagram, I'm KKS.Journal. And then I recently started a YouTube, um, and it's KKS Space Journal. So it's all KK's Journal. Um, but TikTok, it just doesn't have the period or the dot. Awesome. And what got you into mini journals? Like, how did you 
come up with the idea of using like these tiny little papers to make scrapbooking spreads? So I saw on, so I started on TikTok. That's where I started journaling. And um, I was watching, you know, all these creators journal and I was using, you know, my normal size journal. And then I saw, who was it? I forgot who it was the first time I saw it. If you remember, we can share that as well. Um, Like if you remember after we do the live stream. Okay. So they, but they started um, using these little three ring binders Mm -hmm. and she was like, you know, I'm going to try mini journaling on these little pages. I'll let y'all know how it goes, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I ordered a binder and I started doing it. And it, like I said, it was a whole lot harder than what I expected, but it, after practice and doing it more and more, it became actually really fun, right? Cause you're creating mm-hmm. art in like a little bitty piece of paper and I got a ton of compliments on it. And on Inst- when I moved over to Instagram, it just kind of blew up. Um, I would post my little mini spreads and everyone, I don't know how many comments I would get of asking me where I got my journal. Where'd you get your journal? Where'd you get yes. your journal? So cool. Like, <laughs> Those where'd comments. you get your journal? And um, so it kind of blew up on Instagram. And now it's just like, a you know, a lot of creators and a lot of new people that are in journaling um are doing it which I think is just it's just so much fun but yeah yeah, I need to try to remember who who inspired me to do it let's see so I mentioned I that I've started thinking about this um I didn't start thinking about it on TikTok but I mentioned on TikTok that it's something I've been thinking about and I think it's particularly pronounced with these mini journal spreads Um, So when you're creating art, there is an element of science to it. So you do kind of have, you know, art theory of like, okay, I need to balance the spread. Um, You know, you want to make sure the color theory looks good and the textures as well. You want to use a good contrast of textures. And there's, there's an element of creating art that is kind of the pursuit of making all of that look perfect and aesthetic and yeah it's just something I've been thinking about that it is you know when you're creating a spread especially in a a little journal like this you're very intentionally laying out all the pieces and trying to make them look perfect Um, and it's just kind of inherent to creating art but at the same time it can hold people back a lot and um, yeah with stuff like this you can tell and then also with travel journaling for example if you're constant, you know, if you're on the move and you're sketching something and you're constantly trying to make it look perfect and aesthetic and balance everything out, that's like a lot of, a lot of work that goes in, a lot of effort that goes into that. That's really not letting loose. And I guess in the, in the end, what I'm trying to say is you really have to balance being creative and letting yourself just go loose and thinking about this, you know, the balance and the color theory and all of that stuff. Absolutely. I mean, there's no easier, better way to say it than just go for it. Just mm-hmm. lay everything out. And if it doesn't work and the good, the good thing, I don't know how many times I've peeled off. Like I started with a washi and then I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not feeling it. And so I'll peel it off and start with something new. You yes. know what I mean? And so it's really all about just seriously just go just start and just go with it and once you I feel like once you figured out the hardest part is starting so if you've decided okay I'm gonna do a yellow spread I feel like from there it's easy because then you have everything yellow you want to use and then you just kind of start the fun part starts right the creating creating Mm -hmm. and um like, I feel like that, that part starts. And so, so yeah, I just, to me, the hardest part I think is, is starting, like getting that extra, that oomph, I guess, or figuring out what, what you want to do with this spread. Like this one, I was thinking I was going to use some doilies, maybe some girl stickers 
and word phrases and kind of go from there. But I think I want to use this. I actually, these are in Monica's shop, journaling all day cells. Mm -hmm. And I am loving these. Like they make any spread. I feel like looks so cute. So I'm thinking the texture of that is so cool when you overlay it. It really is like, it just makes it look like so neat. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to use the washi tape shops, um, butterfly washi. Ooh, the blue one or the this, black and white? This one? Oh, that one. I don't have that one. It's so pretty though. It is so, so pretty. And I love that it's, um, you can, and I'll show you all in a second, but each one is individual. Like yes. each butterfly is individual. And I think I might put the butterfly in the middle. You know, what you were just saying made me think of the fact that when you're, so writing is another form of art, but when you're writing, it's a little bit more commonly accepted that you're going to have to rewrite and like edit and just like, you know, there's a lot more room for revising. Whereas with these um, art pieces, we see the end result. We don't often, I, I love on TikTok, we can, see the process but even that like you you don't put in like the mistakes you make along the way and stuff and right. there's there's an aspect even to creating any kind of art that is like um you know trying it one way and then maybe the next time you do the same thing but you do something slightly different and that's kind of the iterative process like you're doing something to improve each time Exactly. And that's the cool part, too, is like you see yourself evolving, right, and getting better and doing things outside your comfort zone or mm -hmm. like taking risks because you can't take risks on journaling. Like there's some things I've done that I'm like, oh, I don't know if this looks right, but I'll put it out there and I'll even put it like in my caption, like, I'm not too sure about this one, but I'm posting it anyways. And you know, people are like, oh, my God, it's so pretty. Like, I love the way it comes out. So, you know, you, in the end, you are your own yeah. worst critic, right? Or it, for other creators, I've seen people like, oh, I'm not sure about this one, but I posted it anyways, and I just love it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I love it. And I love the videos where they put something down and then they take it off or they move it. I'm like, yes, I can feel that so much. <laughs> I literally, I just want to say, like, I haven't mentioned it yet, but if I noticed, I literally just put this one to the side. <laughs> I, I was looking at it. I was like, I don't think this is going to work because it's a little too much. Actually, the other day, you know what I did? I actually threw the whole thing away. Oh, like, really? I, I started something. And I was not, I was like, okay, I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to see where it goes. And I was just not loving it at all myself. Mm -hmm. Like I was just like, okay, this is not working. And when I tried to start peeling things off, the paper started ripping and the sticker was halfway. So I was like, you know what? I'm just throwing it away. And I just threw it away and I started over. Yeah. And that's okay. <laughs> I think that's put it to the side. And start over. And that's okay. Oh, that looks yes. so good. Thank you. Yours is coming out so good. I love it. It's like little cottage vibes. Yes. And and that doily with the words in the back. Yep. Looks beautiful. I love it. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> I haven't tried that before, actually. I mean, that's another thing, like part of the experimentation. I think that's what people say. Um, like, I totally, I, I very much get it when people say that journaling is like uh, meditative or it's, um, you know, it's how you can manage your anxiety or things like that, because I use it for that as well. Um, and like, I just find it helps a lot with that. But if I were to like explain why, I would kind of be hard pressed to really come up with a good explanation. But I think what we're talking about here, just like that whole process of, of being okay with how it turns out and then just saying like you know what I'll I'll try it again another time and I'll do something slightly different it, I think that's a really good mindset to just practice exactly that is just part of it and you know one of the reasons I started again look guys look how 
easy and just awesome that is to peel these butterflies off. Um, yep. And you can find this at the washi tape shop too. Um, one of the reasons I started journaling is because I do suffer from horrible anxiety and I was on mm -hmm. medication and it um, was always making me sleepy. And so I mm -hmm. went to my doctor and I was like, let me see. I don't know if I want to cut it. I think I might want to cut it. And I was like, is there anything else like that you can help me with? Because I just feel like this medicine is just putting me to sleep and I, I can't sleep. I'm a mom. I work like it's, mm -hmm. you know, but I suffer from it so bad that I have to take my medication. And he was like, well, do you have a hobby? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, are you good at anything? And I'm like, well, if I am, I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> and he was like, well, I would suggest, you know, trying to see if there's something that you enjoy reading a book, um, sewing, crocheting, you know, just something that yeah. keeps your mind busy. So I was scrolling through TikTok one day and I will tell you um, the Enchanted Journal is what mm -hmm. got me journaling. I fell in love with her page like instantly and I watched, I binged all her videos and I f I found myself extremely relaxed. Like the music, the way she was placing everything, the themes, like it was just so relaxing to watch. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I wonder if I could do this. And so I told my husband, I'm like, okay, I want to try this. He's like, okay. So I got me a few, th I had a few things around the house. I ordered me a journal and a few stickers off Amazon. Cause I was like really anxious to start and I didn't want to wait yeah. for AliExpress. And so I ordered a few things and, um, and then I started and it took me a minute to, to film it. I was like, you know, I'm definitely not going to film it. Like, I'm not going to put myself out there. Nope. So I started journaling for a little bit before I actually uploaded my first video. And I'm just so glad I did. And then I never turned back. Um, wow. It has helped so much with my anxiety. It keeps me calm while I'm doing it. And I'm focused for a few hours, right? And before I know it, and especially when I'm really anxious, I just find that if you focus on something, it helps. Yeah. So, and I've heard from other fellow creators that um, it helps with their anxiety as well. Yes. That's amazing. Like for you, it was a very intentional choice that like, I'm going to, I'm going to take up this hobby and start doing it. Right. Wow. Yep. That's, and that's how I started. And like I said, it was um, the Enchanted Journal. I came across, she came on my For You page. Because before journaling, I was watching a lot of like, um, you know, those people that write names on their yeah. iPad through um, Procreate, I think. I was watching a lot of those videos. And so when her account came across, I'm like, hmm, what's this? And then I just started, went to her profile and started watching and binged all her videos. And I'm like, this is so cool. I've never seen anything like it. Like, th this is really neat. And I just, like I said, I was so relaxed. And so I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe this is my hobby. Maybe this is what I'll try. And I'm so glad I did because not only has it helped my anxiety? I've made some amazing friends all over the world. I have pen pals. Um, and then just everyone in the community on Instagram and both um, TikTok have been amazing. So it's mm -hmm. been a great, 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 great journey for me. I honestly haven't yet found a more uplifting community online. I know. I know. Isn't it crazy? Everyone's just so supportive, like mm -hmm. about everything. And um, if you have any questions, they're not, I mean, they, no one's like wants to keep anything to themselves, if that makes sense. Like um, I reached out to a journal with Anna and I'm like, okay, I love how you're making these happy mail folders. What paper do you use? How do you do it? And she's like, okay, this is how you do it. And she sent a tutorial. She sent me the link to Amazon of the exact paper she got. You oh, know, wow. like, she, yeah, they're just so, so supportive and, like, just 
I don't know. There's everyone's just so amazing. Yeah. Speaking of having questions and things like that, um, I've just seen a few more come in. Okay. And one of them is, what's your favorite theme to do in your journal? Um, On that same note, like just something I'm curious about, um, do your themes mean anything to you? Like, do you kind of have some kind of meaning to them or is it more so you're creating something beautiful? You just like make it look nice and enjoy that process. Yeah, I think to me, it's more, um, I love the process and I love the end result. Like sometimes I'm like, oh my God, this actually came out. Like that one I showed you, I'm like, this mm -hmm. actually came out better than I thought. And I love sharing it. Cut that off, I think it was too long. I love sharing it with people and the process and sharing where I get things. And because, you know, I want everyone just to, experience what I'm experiencing and enjoy it mm -hmm. so um, I wouldn't say I have a favorite theme or color um, but I do let's just say I do love working with neutral colors um, like browns tans whites um, light pinks like blush pinks um, sometimes I'll go out of my comfort zone and do like a green or a yellow um, if someone requests it and I'm like, hmm, this is actually really pretty. Like I did a green and red one the other day using actually this washi tape from you guys. Uh -huh. This was the base. And so I went with green and yellow and I got so many compliments of like, wow, I would have never thought that color combination or, mm -hmm. um, you know, it actually came out so, so good. But yeah, I love neutral colors. Um, I'm not, I'm not really, to be quite honest with you, I only do themes if people request it or if I'm doing like a collab. Oh, yours came out really pretty. I love that. I'm showing like lots of up close, but. Yeah, I love it. Um, or if I'm doing a collab, majority of the time I focus on colors. Like that's my thing. Uh -huh. is I'll, I'll do a color combination or, you know, this one, like I said, we kind of went off your, your washi tape and went with whites and browns. And then I added a butterfly with some pearls in the middle. That's so cool. You, th Yeah, that's like very, I feel like that evokes an emotion. <laughs> it's like the butterfly is... <laughs> is like cosmic it's exploding almost right right mm -hmm. actually yeah that's a good way of of um looking at it i actually like that and actually, like I, oh, wait, go ahead oh i was gonna say just i'm just loving these die cuts mm -hmm. they look so cool i like yeah. the texture of uh of using something that's 3d or something you can see through as well Mm -hmm. um, speaking of texture there's a question someone asked is um, textured paper good for watercolor so I think maybe she's talking yeah. about the, uh, paper that you used like do you use watercolor you know your... actually, I don't I know there's a lot of creators that do and I love it like I absolutely wish I could and honestly to be honest I've never tried it um so I'm not sure. Do you use watercolors? Could you answer that? Um, I think it it depends on the paper. Like, um, I think the paper that you're using is probably very fibrous. Mm -hmm. um, so it's probably not so great for watercolor. I, I usually prefer just um, like hard, uh, cold press or hot press watercolor paper for that. But I hope that answers your question. <laughs> but you can definitely use... Um, textured paper I mean you know you can experiment with all kinds of textures and mediums yeah I've seen some creators use the watercolors for the background like that's their base right they don't use washi oh. or paper they actually use watercolors and mm -hmm. that's the base um and it looks so good like it looks so good and so nice and it's so something so different um so maybe one of these days I'll experiment with it and and see if it's my niche, if it's something I'm good at. But for now, I'll probably just stick to this like, creative journaling. Mm -hmm. Someone said in the comments, I love the theme old news. 
that's like that evokes a lot of images for me already mm -hmm. i like i like that old news mm -hmm. hmm. and then we have another question for you which uh which journal oops that one didn't share which journal do you prefer the most tiny or mini <laughs> oh uh i think personally i like the mini the tiny is fun like don't get me wrong it is so it's so fun but it like i said it is so hard to to journal and to cut like if you you know put washi up here and you're trying to cut along mm -hmm. the edges so that it looks like really nice um like on this one i was just thinking that problem would be solved if you could remove the papers and it was like a binder but then i was like that would probably have just one hole in it <laughs> and it would just kind of go all over yeah that is true and the holes would have to be so like they couldn't be like these holes because then yeah. that, i feel like that would take up like a lot of a lot it of the paper cover half of the page. yeah i would cover <laughs> half of it um but they're both fun they're both fun to work in um this is my first time ever. I've seen these a lot too. So I decided I wanted to try it and get mm -hmm. me one to see if I'd like it. And like I said, I, I do like it. It's, it is a lot of fun. It's just a lot more challenging. And the mini, even though it is a small canvas, it's still a lot more room um, mm -hmm. than something so small. <laughs> and it would just, it's hard to use like um, this to, in my opinion, and this is just me, I feel like for tiny, it's more washy stickers. I mean, you mm -hmm. could probably use yeah. die cuts, um, but it, to me, I think it'd be a little bit more challenging. So a lot of them are just, like I said, all these are stickers or mm -hmm. from washi. And I do get a lot of questions about this flower, like this cloth flower right here. And you know what's the funny thing is, is... I actually got this from Joann's. It's a, it's like a ribbon. Oh, that's really pretty. I've seen yeah. stuff like that before. It's kind of like and, this shape. Yeah, exactly. And all I do is I cut them. Like I uh -huh. cut them into individual, um, individual flowers. Like that. That's a great idea. And so there you have like a little mini, mini flower. And I have it in green and purple and pink, I believe, as well as white. Mm -hmm. And those are always fun, too. Um, we're going to do maybe two more questions. One of them is a question I have. And then um, someone here asked, do you have options on locating the mini clear binders? So we'll share like I'll let you answer this if you if you have some ideas to share and then also if anyone's watching and you want to find some mini clear binders we'll share some of the ones that Kristen uses on our stories after as well um yeah so this one I got from um AliExpress I believe and this one I got from um Sheen but I noticed the other day they do have them on Amazon uh -huh. um, <clears throat> excuse me now they are cheaper on Sheen and, and AliExpress um, but of course you know you gotta depending on where you're at like to me anytime I order from them it takes like at least two weeks whereas Amazon I either get it the next day or two days after so it's really a preference on how fast you want it um, mm -hmm. But they're, a few, they're only a few more dollars on Amazon, so they're not, like, really expensive. They're just a few more dollars more than, than AliExpress or Sheen. But, yeah, you can get them on, on Amazon. I actually saw them the other day, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Because mm -hmm. I only thought you could get them off um, Sheen or AliExpress, but, no, nope, you can get them on Amazon, too. And that's actually where I got these as well. Oh, wow. I got, okay. Mm -hmm, Did I got these off Amazon. Or are they in a big pack? Um, I got, they, they were, these were sold individually. How small is the box that they come in? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like maybe oh, just like I, a little bit bigger than, than the actual journal. 
Um, but that's not the box that shows up on your doorstep, is it? Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <But I, laughs> that would be funny, I, though, I wouldn't it? Scenarios, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so, again, and we'll link this in the stories, you know, if you're more of a vintage, like, uh, decal page kind of journaler, um, yeah. which is so fun, you can get this one off the... Of, Coralize um, from her Etsy page or from her shop. I'm sorry, Cora Cray Crafts. Mm -hmm. And before I ask you my last question that I'm curious about, um, if anyone who's watching also wants to grab these washi tapes that we've used or the stickers, so this frame as well. And um, Kristen also used the same washi tape as me. This one it's from the fragrance collection. Mm -hmm. We have a discount code. It's uh, really funny. I always misplace the little thing that I wrote out the code on. But the code is LIVE15. So if, if you want to grab anything from our shop, which is the Washi Tape Shop, just use that at checkout. It's 15% off app, um, anything. And then there's also a special. If you order over $60, you can get a free Washi Tape set. So just check that out on our cool. website. And uh, Kristen, my question for you. So you've talked about starting this hobby and... Um, I guess it's fairly recent. Like you mentioned seeing it on TikTok. Sin like since then, have you branched out or experimented with any other mediums as well? Like have you tried painting or, um, you know, drawing in something other than a mini journal? I'm just curious what sort of things have you explored with? Um, so I have actually tried, um, is it called calligraphy writing? Um, oh, yeah you know, the real pretty writing with like the markers. And I actually got me a tutorial book and the marker and I have been practicing that. Um, it's actually super hard or for me, it's actually super hard. But um, one of my friends me does too. it. She was like, just keep doing it. I promise it'll come naturally. She was like, um, but the, you know, using the, the, the marker and the stroking and, you know, thick strokes, slight strokes, um, is very soothing to me as well. So I have been working on that. And then, um, I do the mini journaling and, um, I work in my big journal, but that, yeah, that's really about it. Like I said, I would love to experiment with watercolors because I've seen so many mm -hmm. creators do it. And it's so pretty. It's so, yeah. so pretty. Um, but I haven't yet. That's just something I would like to do. Cool. Well, I'm going to stay tuned to see when you when you try. I'm always excited to see like the different, you know, when you incorporate a new medium or something like that, a new yeah. type of sticker or like the die cuts that you've been using. So um, definitely check out Kristen's Instagram and YouTube now as well and TikTok. It's KK's Journal. Yes. And we're going to share all of um, your links on our stories as well. So just stay tuned to our stories for the links and also the replay of this video. And okay. um, thank you so much for joining, Kristen. Thank you so for having fun. me. It was fun. And yours is beautiful. I love the way it came out. Thank you so much. I absolutely love yours. And I love all of yours, actually, on, um, on your reels. So thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. All right. See you guys later. All right. Bye, Bye. Kristen. Bye.